The legend of the Amazons refers to a tribe of female warriors in Greek mythology. It is said that they were an entire tribe of women with great combat skills, slender, and very athletic. They lived in a matriarchal society dedicated to war, hunting, and horse breeding. The story goes that, living in an environment without male figures, they had very peculiar traditions such as the self-mutilation of their chest, to be able to better handle the bow and arrow, which they used as a weapon in their battles. The word Amazon comes from the Greek, amazos, which means, without breast, or without husband. The history of this group of women began with its founder, Queen Hippolyta, who was the fruit of the love affair between Ares, the god of war, and Atrara, also a pioneer of the Amazons. In the beginning, Atrara did not want to be condemned to the traditions that she had to comply with because of her gender, such as dedicating herself to housework or living under the shadow of a man, as was the custom at the time. Her only desire was to find an opponent worthy of her combat skills, and she wandered the world looking for the most difficult battles that could arise while practicing archery for hours and hours. Before such a spectacle, Ares would be amazed and of course, he wished to be with her for her amazing skills and attitude on the battlefield, so he approached her unexpectedly, receiving as a welcome a hostile and aggressive attitude from the beautiful maiden, worthy of all a warrior. However, the god of war decided to persuade her, offering her a barter if she agreed to have relations with him. Ares told her that she would receive in exchange everything she had always dreamed of. In this way, she would receive her people, so skilled in the war that they would be feared by all, and of course, would be made up only of women, since she showed a great rejection of men because of their unjust laws, and above all because of the destruction and violence they caused. Faced with this offer, Atrara felt excited, since the payment she would receive for being with a god was more than she would have expected. However, she had her doubts, since there were always rumors about gods taking advantage of humans, and not fulfilling their agreements once their goal was achieved. Ares realized the situation, and to have more credibility with his offer, he proposed a bet on the battlefield. Both would fight mercilessly to proclaim a winner and only the one who defeated the other would get to see his wish fulfilled. Both battled for a long time, so long that they lost count, and there was no winner, resulting in a mutual vote of confidence, in which each of them had to fulfill their part. Atrara chose a distant island in the Black Sea, which was difficult to access and above all free from the dominion of man. In that place the god claimed it as his own and settled with Atrara. Some time later, as a result of this relationship, she had three beautiful daughters with Ares, Hippolyta, Anton, and Penthesilea. The already consorts founded several cities, including Themyscira, the most important city for them. This valuable city was surrounded by high walls built with huge rocks, which made it much easier to defend against possible enemies. These great walls provided an excellent view of the exterior and allowed them to take strategic positions to carry out air attacks with arrows, and ground attacks on horseback in a synchronized and lethal way. The queen's mother raised and trained her daughters to assume dominion over the people she had created. With her death, Hippolyta took the throne, and the Amazons grew in number, their skills improved by leaps and bounds, making their fame grow. It is said that her father gave her a legendary object capable of conferring to its bearer great strength and skill in battle. In some stories, it is even mentioned that she had healing powers, thanks to a belt that would later become the most important and iconic symbol of these women. This divine belt was made of gold, adorned with fine jewels and beautiful symbolic engravings. The Amazons were considered to be the best horsemen in the world, as they trained their horses from an early age. They were also said to be experts in the use of the spear, sword, bow, and arrow. They were always shown to be brave and fierce women in battle, so much so that many of the men feared to face them, as they were famous for their combat prowess and great ability to defend their territory. Of course, these brave warriors worshipped Artemis, who was the goddess of hunting and the protector of young women, and they offered sacrifices and offerings in her honor. For this reason, they were considered bad mothers, since when they had sons, they abandoned them, mutilated them, and even murdered them. Although it is also said that male children were given to their fathers so that they would be in charge of raising them. 
living in a matriarchal society, women occupied all leadership positions, all important decisions were made by their representatives, and of course, they considered men as inferior and were only used for reproduction, so it was very common that the rest of patriarchal societies considered them as a great threat and tried to dominate their lands. These women saw how their power and fame increased in all kingdoms. Even Hippolyta decided to handle decisions diplomatically because she did not consider it necessary to use the power on the battlefield of her people before any adversary, in order not to shed blood unnecessarily. It is said that there were even several women who left their lands to recruit girls who would be taken to the island, where they would receive proper training as one of the Amazons. The story of the Amazons was intertwined with that of many Greek heroes and gods, and one of the most famous was that of Hercules, who had to face them when he was sent to capture the belt of Hippolyta, as part of one of his twelve labors. At first, the hero's visit was friendly, and even had an honorable reception, considering the rejection that the Amazons felt for men, but soon after a series of misunderstandings triggered a battle in which Hercules killed Hippolyta, seized the belt, and kidnapped Adiope to marry her. Undoubtedly this is one of the most impressive and impressive civilizations of Greek mythology, which has left a great legacy in its battles and stories from its origin until its disappearance.